Hey everyone, uh, welcome to another video and welcome to our YouTube channel if you haven't checked it out before. And we are starting a new year, so I'd like to wish everyone a happy new year and I hope you all, all, all of you had a good holiday period and got some good rest. So what is coming up? And as you can see on the screen, we have the DS-KD-TDM or, I, or as I will refer to it as the TDM unit, which is our intercom modular unit and it is a digital unit. So it can do many things, which we'll get to in a second. Um, and we're gonna, I've done a, a four part mini series, guys. So I'm gonna tell you what's coming up in a second as well. But before we get there, I just wanna say a big thanks to Luke. Uh, he managed to let, lend me this unit so we could do some, te some testing. So big thanks to Luke and um, now that we can now get on with the video. So what is coming up first of all? Okay, so before I start on uh, telling you about this unit, um, I've done a four part mini series. In the first part today, we're gonna go just look at the basic features of the unit. Then we're gonna start setting it up. I'm gonna connect all the equipment together and then we're gonna be adding the devices to IVMS, updating the firmware and getting everything ready for the second part, which is gonna be uh, the setup. So we're going to look at the different modes, set up each mode separately, and and then test them. Obviously, we've got some screens plug, uh, plugged in as well, so we're going to be doing some full testing. And on the third part, we're going to be looking at the advertising feature of this unit, where we can upload our own images and things like that. And in the fourth part, I'm going to really give you my final thoughts on the unit, just basically a little review of what I think. Um, and how you should use the unit. Okay, so right now we're, we're just gonna look at um, the TDM unit here, and as you see here, it is a touch screen uh, display. Okay, so obviously uh, you can just touch it and it will bring up the menu. You can choose how the menu works, you'll see that later. And you have um, basically four different modes. Okay, so you have uh, your four, four breeder mode, you have uh, a keypad mode, you have a contact list mode and you have an advertising mode. Okay, so we're going to be covering all of these in the in the videos. And as you see, you can store your contacts on here. You can put in the keypad passwords. It comes with, a, you know, everything you're going to need, basically, that comes with a modular intercom system that um, already exists. So all the units all in one. Pretty straightforward, really, guys. So... I think we should just go ahead and go to the setup right now and to start from the beginning I'll show you the equipment and then we'll do some setting up. I'll catch you there. Okay as you see this is our setup. Uh, I'm just about to plug it all in. We have our door station, our TDM unit, three screens in a bracket and we quickly show you the back. So obviously guys make sure you set your dip switch okay for this bit it will be uh, one up and the rest down if you're just using one module, okay? There's loads of information online about dip switches, so don't forget about the dip switch. And just got one cable connected from uh, RS-485 out to the RS-485 in on the unit. And one PoE cable into the door station, and that's all you need. Okay. Alright, so let's plug it in. Okay. Now, obviously, everything is defaulted, inactive, and we're going to go activate everything now using our uh, IVMS 4200. Right, it does look like the door station is going purple, but there is no purple light on it, visually. That is red. Okay. Okay. So, as you see, it says offline. We're going to sort that out in a minute. And just see what happens when we ring it. Oh, it hasn't loaded up yet, guys. Just give that a sec. Okay. Unactivated. Should be inactivated, I think, but... No, I still think it's loading up, guys. Anyway, we're just going to go over to IVMS now, and we're going to sort this all out. Okay, catch you there. And before we go ahead and load up IVMS, I'm going to quickly show you our network settings we have done for setting up this intercom system. 
So we go to Network and Sharing Center. This is now our Windows 11 control panel. And we want to look for Change Adapter Settings. Okay, guys, then find your Ethernet connection. Go to Properties. Then under Internet Protocol Version 4, click on Properties again. And you see I've selected um, the IP range we're going to be using for this setup. Okay, guys, so you can really put in anything here. I just put in a common IP address and instead of using the obtain IP address automatically that's what the default setting is I would have to restart my PC that's why I haven't done it in front of you guys but it's really easy just pick an IP address and you should be able to uh, log on to your switch no problem okay so I've got my laptop plugged in directly into the PoE switch okay there's no router being used essentially the, P the PC the laptop is the router okay and for a few of you guys who are watching for the first time um, yes, we got an upgrade on my PC, so hopefully we should have some better recording now going on. So let's go ahead and load up our VMS. And we got our notes here. Okay. So... Hopefully, now, only the devices that are on the Switch will be on the online devices, okay? And the Switch itself. So, yeah, as you see here, we've got our PoE Smart Switch here, which is, don't worry about this, guys. We're not going to be touching that at all. No settings have been done to it or anything. Um, we have got three screens here, and we've got our door station here. Okay, all inactive, so let's go ahead and activate them, and um, we can go set them up then. Okay, so we'll start with the door station. So... Standard procedure guys, just like normal, we're setting this up, nothing complicated. So I've got my IP address I'm going to designate for this door station here. So I'm going to copy that, ready to go. Okay, and then we click on this globe icon and then we give it an IP address, okay. And the gateway is always going to just be the same IP but a one at the end, okay. Okay, so that's completed, and as you see here now, it has a new IP address, our door station. So let's go add this to the main panel. And it's gone straight away online. That means we can access the thing through the, the cog icon here and start configuring it. All right, guys, I'm going to do the same now for the three screens. Just going to add them. So instead of me just waffling on while I add the screens, we're going to cut to a time lapse. I'll catch you in a second. All right, so everything's been added now. We have our door station, reception screen, flat one and flat two. And obviously now we're missing the key ingredient, the TDM unit. Okay, so to log on to this unit, you actually have to log on through Wi-Fi, okay guys? So you will need um, a PC with a Wi-Fi adapter or use a laptop. Um, so either way, you're going to have to go to your Wi-Fi settings here and look for your serial number it will be the, um, the unit's uh, Wi-Fi address, okay? So we click on this, click on connect. There we go, connect. Now, if it does ask you for a password here, guys, so for some reason it doesn't ask me anymore because I've probably, it's probably memorized it or knows it, it is the serial number, okay? Okay, that was pretty quick, it connected, okay? Let's just see, it says no internet, uh, secured, but it is connected, okay? That's what you want to see, no internet, okay? Because it's obviously not providing internet, okay? Now, as you see here, is it here? I'm refreshing, no, it's not here, guys, but this, this happens. So the trick is, guys, you have to close IVMS, Exit, we can get rid of this now, and we can go IVMS, Ooh. yes please, load it up again. Online devices, and, and look, now it's magically appeared, amazing, okay guys? So, as you see, it's got a new IP address, and everything is there, okay? So, let's go ahead and add the unit, okay? So, we call this TDM. Now the password will be the door station password, okay? The one you entered in. 
earlier. Okay, we go add, and it's online, and now we can, uh, let's just quickly log on to make sure it's all good. Yep, there it is, guys. Now, one important, very important stage, guys. Now it is time to update the firmware on everything, okay? So we're gonna update the firmware on the door station, the screens, and the TDM unit, okay? But unfortunately, I've already done this, so I'm gonna show you where to go. I'll leave, leave all the links in the description. So please, uh, you can use them, or just Google the model number nowadays, and you can get go to the Hikvision spec sheet, scroll down to the bottom, and you can usually see it. So let me show you where to go. So door station, I click here. There we go, maintenance, and we have um, upgrade. Okay, so you click on here to upgrade, find the file, and it just goes ahead. So you click on the upgrade button here once it's found the file. Okay, easy stuff, guys. All right, if you're having problems um, with this, it's not fine. You're having like a little bug or something, try something called batch configuration tool. Okay, I'll leave a link below as well, but that's very handy if you're having any problems doing that. So, one of the screens is the same principle. We go to maintenance and we go upgrade. Click on here to upgrade the file. Okay, and then click on upgrade and it will go ahead and do it. Now, for the TDM unit, we use the same thing, guys maintenance, set the file, upgrade. Okay. So go ahead and upgrade everything, and that concludes the first part of our video series, for a uh, well, mini series for the TDM unit. In the next one, we're gonna go ahead and set it all up and show you some live examples. Okay, I'll catch you there, hopefully. Thanks for watching, and see you again. Thank you, bye-bye.